experiment number six determination of the equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in series aim to determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in series requirements to unknown resistors a rheostat a voltmeter an ammeter a plug key dry cell or a battery eliminator connecting wires a sandpaper let us first draw circuit diagram procedure select the voltmeter and the ammeter of suitable range note the least count and zero error of the voltmeter and the ammeter Connect the electrical circuit as shown in the circuit diagram. Show the connections to the teacher or examiner. In the first step, connect the voltmeter across resistor R1. Put the plug in the key and adjust the rheostat to obtain the desired current in the ammeter. Note the readings of the voltmeter and the ammeter. Obtain four sets of reading for different currents. Then connect the voltmeter across resistor R2 and again obtain four sets of reading as above. Finally, connect the voltmeter across both the resistors. Here also obtain four sets of readings as above. Remove the plug from the key. And disconnect the circuit. Observation number one: least count of the voltmeter is zero volts. Number two: least count of the ammeter is zero amperes. Number three: zero error of the voltmeter is zero volts. Number four: zero error of the ammeter is zero amperes. Now let us fill the observation table. It has column, step, set of observations, a meter reading I, which is observed and corrected, volt meter reading V, observed, corrected, V upon I ohms. For R1, for first set of observation, a meter reading observed is 0.15. A meter reading corrected is 0.15. Volt meter reading observed is 0.45. Volt meter reading corrected is 0.45. So it is 3.0 ohms. For second set of observations, a meter reading observed is 0.20. A meter reading corrected is 0.20. Volt meter reading observed is 0.60. Volt meter reading corrected is 0 0.60. It is 3.0 ohms. For R1, here we have third set of observations. A meter reading observed 0 0.26. A meter reading corrected 0 0.26. Volt meter reading observed 0 0.80. Volt meter reading corrected 0 0.80. It is 3.02 ohms. For R2, set of observations. For first set of observation, a meter reading observed 0 0.30. A meter reading corrected 0 0.30. Volt meter reading observed 0 0.90. Volt meter reading corrected 0 0.90. It is 3.0 ohms. For second set of observations, a meter reading observed 0 0.35. A meter reading corrected 0 0.35. Volt meter reading observed 1.10. Volt meter reading corrected 1.10. It is 3.1 ohms. For third set of observations, a meter reading observed 0 0.40. A meter reading corrected 0 0.40. Volt meter reading observed 1.20. Volt meter reading corrected 1.20. It is 3.0 ohms. For RS is equal to R1 and R2 connected together in series, 
For first set of observations, emitter reading observed 0.28, emitter reading corrected 0.28, voltmeter reading observed 1.68, voltmeter reading corrected 1.68, it is 6 ohms. For second set of observations, emitter reading observed 0.26, Emitter reading corrected 0.26, voltmeter reading observed 1.58, voltmeter reading corrected 1.58, it is 6.07 ohms. For third set of observations, emitter reading observed 0.27, emitter reading corrected 0.27, voltmeter reading observed 1.62, Voltmeter reading corrected 1.62, it is 6.00 ohms. Now let us see the calculations. Number 1, mean resistance R1 is 3 plus 3 plus 3.02 upon 3, that is 9.02 upon 3, which is 3.00 ohms. Number 2, Mean resistance R2 is 3 plus 3.1 plus 3 upon 3, that is 9.1 upon 3, which is 3.03 ohms. Number 3. Total resistance Rs is equal to R1 plus R2, that is 6.03 ohms. Number 4. Mean equivalent resistance Rs when R1 and R2 connected together in series is equal to 6 plus 6.07 plus 6 upon 3, that is 18.07 upon 3, which is 6.02 ohms. The result is, number 1, the equivalent resistance of two resistors in series is equal to 6.02 ohms. Number 2, the relation Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 is experimentally verified.